Hey, what is up, guys? This is FNH here, and today I'm reviewing the CIP Lounge in Antalya, Turkey. Okay, so this lounge is fairly small. You can see this table over here with all the food and everything. They got some uh, some pastries, some uh, desserts, uh, water, the soda selections. Right, uh, there's not really much here. Uh, they have a table with tablets. Um, it's a nice setup, you know, you can see it's fairly small, so it does get crowded pretty quick. Um, I had a very early flight, so that's why it's empty, but um, it does get packed and um, you might have to wait. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty small in a sense, right? There's not really much, um, I guess, to do here, but if you're waiting for a flight, it's definitely, um, you know, worth it to go here. Um, I'll tell you the price in a minute, but um, once again, the food table, you can see over here that um, they, they have muffins, um, they have different kinds of snacks, right? Um, it's not too much, right? Uh, I believe they do have some alcoholic beverages, but not too sure about that. I don't remember, but um, they definitely have a good selection of sodas and water, right? Um, so, so that's good. But um, I guess aside from that, um, what they do, they are open 24-7, right? So uh, whether you have a really early flight or a late flight, uh, this the CIP lounge uh, will be open, right? And this is in um, Antalya Airport. Um, it's for the domestic terminal, okay? So, um, so yeah, it should be pretty easy to find um, since the domestic terminal is uh, smaller than the international one right so yeah um so in, in terms of i guess the uh services and, that they provide they do have wi-fi the wi-fi was decent uh not too great but not too bad either i think that's similar with most uh lounges uh the wi-fi is just decent it's not really that good and it's not like it's better than nothing i guess um so yeah um that's definitely good in in that sense and they also have a flight monitor inside so you can uh, basically see if your flight is boarding or anything right uh, while sitting inside um, aside from that in terms of prices um, it does cost 20 pounds to get inside for three hours right um, whether they enforce it three hours or not I'm not 100% sure but um, you know three hours should be fairly long enough for your uh for your layover right um but it's 20 pounds for, especially for domestic um so yeah it's 20 pounds um uh three hours not sure if they um enforce that but uh whether do i think is 20 uh 20 pounds worth um me pers personally i don't think so because uh one it will it usually is crowded in there and um second is not really a good selection of foods right um the comfortable the seatings were comfortable the view was uh pretty nice also um so that's the benefit of it i guess right but um aside from that there's not really much going on for it right um they do accept priority pass right um so uh priority pass whatever the fee is um so you have to pay that or um if it's free uh for you you can it's free um so this, they do have um the turkish uh airport does have another lounge uh the turkish lounge right um you do not want to um uh, go in that because that's different than the cip lounge Okay, the Turkish airline airlines lounge is its uh, own lounges that um, it provides for people that use their miles and smiles, and I guess are some kind of gold or platinum level for with them. But um, for this one, it's um, priority pass works, or you can just pay in to go. All right, so um, so yeah, that's basically it for uh, this lounge. Pretty small, not really much to say. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, if you like the video, make sure to like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.